So an interesting question on fixed and variable cost. Let us try this out. Imagine that there are 459 managers in a hotel. Right? If the number of managers is enlarged by 36, the expenses of the food increased by 81 per day, while the average spending decreased by 1. Right? Find the original spending of the hotel on food. Right? Let us first, too many variables, let us write down what are the things that we know. So we know there is going to be a fixed cost and a variable cost. Will we use that or not, we will get there. Right? Now we will start by saying, I have fixed cost plus 459 variable cost per plate cost and this adds up to x rupees right this is the original spending is the x i am trying to find out here now the number of managers is enlarged by 36 so you have 459 plus 36 gives you 5 495 so there are a total of 495 managers now which means the fixed cost stays the same, but there are 495 managers put together or plates of food that needs to be prepared. Now this, the total expense increased by only 81 rupees. So this is X plus 81. Right? Now we have two parts of information. One is originally how much was the total expense, which is X rupees. After adding those number of 36 number of managers for the total expense total expense is x plus 81 right now how do you find out the average per plate cost x is the total amount of money spent by 459 managers or on an average they spent x by 459 is y rupees let's assume y is the original average cost per plate right now what happens in the second case, x plus 81 rupees is spent by not 459 managers, but it is spent by 495 managers. Now, what do we know about the new average? The average decreased by 1. So, this is y minus 1. So, we know this much information. Now, can we figure out x or y? Some one thing. Our final goal is to figure out x. But first, can we figure out y? Okay, let us look at this. So, this is x is 459y. This is one equation. This is x plus 81 is equal to 495y minus 495. Or I will take the 495 this side. This is 495, 495 plus 81. plus x is 495y or I can write it as x is equal to 459y. I am bringing this equation here. Now I can subtract. Right? These terms stay as it is. x gets cancelled. 495 minus 459 will give you 36. So 495 plus 81 which is 495, 576, 576 is equal to 36y. If you subtract these two, you will get this. 576 is 36y. Uh, looks like this will get stuck off by 6. So let me try that. 576 by 36 is equal to value of y. Um, 6, 6 times. In 57, it is going to be 9 times. So 54, 55, 57, 3, 36 is going to be 6 times. So this is 96. 96 uh, in 96 is going to be uh, 10 times and then 6 times. I guess it is 16. So y is 16. Okay. Now that you know value of y is 16 and also we know x uh, by 495 I guess. x by 459 is y. So x by 459 is equal to y or x is equal to 459 into 16. So, 459 into 16. So, this is 4590. Uh, this is 96 are 54. Uh, 65 are 30, 35. 
six fours are twenty four, twenty eight, twenty six, twenty seven, two seven, and to be four. Nine plus five is four. Uh, Fourteen one carry. Seven eight. Nine ten eleven twelve thirteen. And this is seven three four four. Yes, we have a winner. Seven three four four is the original amount that was spent uh, by the hotel or by the managers on food. Interesting question. Nothing fancy, but you need to get the idea of averages and percentages clubbed together in one question.